What is happening, Magnusites? That's right, you see the title correctly. I just made a ton of money in the stock market. Now, I've been wanting to talk about this for a little bit. Um, I'm not as in to the stock market as you might believe from the title. It's been something I've been wanting to get into for a while. Um, I always had a dream, and this is kind of funny when you get into talking about, you know, uh, positive thought and law of attraction and becoming what your thoughts are and you become what you think about most of the time and stuff like this. Listen to me where I'm going with this. I've always had this dream of traveling the world and working from my laptop. And that was a dream that I had since, uh, I would say my late teens, early twenties. I was like, wow, these guys learned the stock market. And I know there's high risk in a lot of it, but a lot of these guys, they just travel and they, they're on a beach, they check some stuff, they close that laptop and they relax. And I could have sworn that I also saw like a Corona commercial like that at one time too. And I was like, holy shit, that's what I'm talking about. Blue clear waters, white sands, check my shit, close the laptop and relax. With a corona, well, I don't really like coronas like that, but I like Steve Weiser's. <laughs> Deborah, get me a damn Budweiser at the damn refrigerator. That's right. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> so take it on back. Um, huge fan of Robert Kiyosaki, and I could have swore I heard him talk about the the stock market at one time, and him talking about how people get extremely afraid when the stock market plummets. But to people that are rich, they look at it like a sale. So it's like, oh, wait a minute. They're no longer selling their shares for $500 a share. Now they're down to 100. Buy a 1,000 of them. You see that? And then when it finally goes up, you make a ton of money. Is it that easy? Yes and no. It's also about knowing your market, which is what I'm going to talk about right now. Okay. The first time I made a lot of money in the stock market was when the WWE's stock plummeted. Okay. I remember it being, I think, around seven bucks a share. I think something like that. And I don't check my stocks that much. But I just remember this bad news coming out about the WWE stock just being the lowest it had ever been. And I ended up buying a few shares for what I could at that time. And because I knew my market, I knew WWD wasn't going under. I knew that eventually, like WWE is all the time, it has these you know peaks and valleys, you know what I mean? There's just times people are into it, and it's, you know, and, and it's the most popular thing in the world, and then there's times where it's not. So I knew it would come back, but at that time, I had been thinking about investing, and I said, you know what? And that, they were my first investment. I was just talking to EDP445 on my Instagram, and he was talking about how he, he loves my WWE videos, and he was talking about how I said, about how I said as a stockholder, you make me want to vomit because at the time, y'all know I really hated the product and I don't even watch it now, you know what I mean? But I, I still respect the wrestlers and I know it is what it is and, you know, eventually, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll peak again. Um, one thing I respect about Vince McMahon, among others, is that he sticks to what he wants to do. Y'all know I do that on my channel, you know what I mean? It's like I do what I want to do. Um, I made it to a million subscribers my way. I didn't have to take anybody's advice. Um, because I've got a vision for my channel and what I want to do. And, you know, I can't listen to everybody all around the planet that's a fan that, you know, feels they know what's best for my product. And I get that with Vince. And sometimes you do have to listen to the fans. And it's true. You know, I take certain suggestions that have helped the channel in this and that. But along the way, it's always been my vision that made the channel what it is. So I got to, you know, take my hat off to Vince there. But 
When it eventually rose, like I said, I made a bunch of dough. And now today, um, it happened a few days ago, but I remember watching uh, Rich from Review Tech USA. And he was talking about how low GameStop's um, stock had plummeted. And I was like, aha! I was like, I know I don't know as much about the gaming industry as I do about wrestling, but I know enough. I, I don't think GameStop is done. I don't think that they're finished. Let's put some money on GameStop. Then a few weeks later, months later, all of a sudden that guy from Nintendo, that president or whatever, started working for them. And I was like, hmm, maybe I was right. Now we got Microsoft buying them. And their stock has shot up in price. So I made some more money. Now, the key is knowing when to pull out. Okay? I talk to Scarlo about that all the time. But listen, so that's the point. Okay, so what it is, is I don't want to lose a bunch of money. You know what I mean? I don't want to lose a bunch of money. So I got to know when to pull the money out or transfer it to another stock. Well, well, all that stuff. But for all my stock fans out there, I am, um, um, my, my knowledge is very little about a lot. Okay, you know. And um, I was looking into invest tools years ago to learn the market and have really learn how to do that, you know, cause I gotta have more under my belt than just my acting talent and, you know, my YouTube videos, you know, I gotta diversify, have, you know, several, you know, streams of income. And the market has definitely been one of those that I wanted to do. Like I said, traveling the world with a laptop. And it's just funny that it's all come around about that. I travel the world with a laptop and I make YouTube videos or investments uh, rather than stock market, which I kind of find interesting because my videos rise and can fall in value and views and stuff. And you never know how the algorithm, AKA the market's gonna go. It's just kind of interesting how I've become what I dreamed of doing in certain ways. And that's one of them, but anyway, so, and then I ran into another company that was just like Invest Tools, except they were like a ton cheaper. Cheaper doesn't always mean better, but when I saw both of their seminars, I was like, hmm, I don't know. I might, but at that time, I really just wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But for all my stock peoples out there, let me know what you think are some of the best ways for me to really learn how to move and shake on the market. You know what I'm saying? Become a millionaire on the market, get that knowledge to where I really know. Now, yeah. I could call Warren Buffett and ask him to teach me, but I don't think he's going to take my call. All right. So post comments down below. I hope this was helpful to all of you. Hopefully you learned a little about a lot like I have. And if you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe and share 10 million subscribers. Woo.